Hello and welcome to Dawn's PC Guide. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make a shortcut that will allow you to slide to shut down your computer. So what this is going to do, it's already an application that's built into the computer, but we're just going to shortcut it so you can easily click the button and you can shut down in style. So we're going to go to our desktop screen. We're going to right click wherever you want the shortcut. We're going to go to new and then shortcut. And now it's going to ask you to type in the location of the item that you're shortcutting. So this one's a little bit hard to type out, so I just put a file on my desktop. We're going to copy and paste that. Now if you're watching this on a different device, you're going to have to type this into your computer yourself. So I'll just give you a second. Awesome. We're going to close that. We're going to paste in our code and click Next. Now it's going to ask you to name it. Now you can name it whatever you'd like, but I'm going to call it Shutdown. We're going to click Finish. And now it's made. Don't leave yet. We're going to make it a little bit cooler. So, first off, we're going to change the icon. We're going to go to Google Chrome. You could use any explorer you'd like, but I'm going to do Google Chrome. Now you can see I've already searched this up before. We're going to find a power button. So any picture of a power button would work. Any picture at all would actually work. Now I'm going to find this nice red one. I think it's pretty. We're going to save image as. And just to make it easy on you, we're going to save it to the desktop. You can delete this right after. Now if you look, right here I've got the picture. Now Windows won't allow you to set your icon with any other file format than .ico. So what we're going to do, instead of installing different software to convert that picture, we're just going to type out PNG to ICO in our browser, and we're just going to convert it online. Here it is. We're going to drag the file into the box. We're going to download that converted image. It was nice and quick. Now we're going to take that download and we're going to put it right under our icon or wherever you'd like. Now it's time to set the icon to the picture that we just made. So we're going to go to properties. Under the shortcut tab, we're going to click change icon. It's going to tell you there's no icons available. That's all right, don't you worry. We're going to click browse. And now we're going to find that icon. Make sure that you're not clicking on the original file. You're clicking on the .ico that we just converted. So to tell the difference, it'll either say .ico, or there will also be a type. And under that, it should say icon. We're going to open that up, and then click OK. Now you can see our icons right there. We're going to add one more cool feature into this shortcut. So we're going to actually add a shortcut key. Now whatever you click, is going to be your shortcut key. So we're going to click Control, Alt, and S at the same time. That'll pull up in the menu there. Confirm that you click the right buttons and then click Apply. Now the reason I put Control and Alt as well as the S is just so you don't accidentally click the key. It'll get a little annoying if you make your shortcuts too common. Now, confirm that it works. Double click on that icon slide to shut down your computer. Perfect. Now we're going to see if our shortcut key works. So control, alt, and s. This one takes a second to pull up. There it goes. Perfect. I hope you liked this tutorial today. Please like and subscribe and click the bell. Have a great day everybody.